Yo, it's time to travel back in time. Back to the 90s, when Michael Jordan was hip and young, you know? The movie Space Jam came out. Never watched it. I'll probably watch it before I watch the second one. But I've heard it was good. i heard it was a lot of people's childhoods. I never bothered watching it. I don't think I'd be into it. But the second one just came out. And I heard it was a pile of dog shit. So, uh, decided to, you know, share my opinion on that. If Lola Bunny doesn't give me a boner in the first five minutes of the movie, I quit, okay? Alright? Because a lot of people liked Lola Bunny in the first one, you know, like, you know. I'm no furry. It's just, she's an exception. I've heard the second one was unbearably long as just references. So, uh, it's time for me to, uh, share my opinion on that. You know, I'm gonna launch up HBO Max and I'm gonna watch the movie and, uh, it's gonna be a pile of shit. And I can't wait. I honestly can't wait to ruin two hours of my life where I could be sitting Yanking the salmon, you know? But I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna watch Space Jam 2. And, uh, I'll be back after I do that. Fuck this! I'm not watching you with my fucking hands up! I'm not starting my fucking cell! Wait a second. Bugs is dead! Bugs is dead! He went to the stars. Hey guys, I'm sad. You know, uh, spoiler alert, Bugs Bunny, like in every kid's movie ever, comes back to life. He's not dead. He has the explanation. I'm a toon. I can survive anything. <laughs> Which clearly he disintegrated off into the stars. Like, there's no, there's no combating that. There's just, he's just like, ah! Yeah, and then he died. So, <laughs> I never expected it. To see Bugs Bunny die on screen. But yeah, other than that and a couple Lola ass shots, the movie's super forgettable. Like, I don't remember anything. Oh yeah, Bugs turned into Big Chungus. Which, if I was in a theater, a bunch of children would be screaming at that. And I, I could still hear it in my nightmares. Uh, I was completely speechless at the Big Chungus part. Yeah, I saw it coming. Big Chungus had a rise in popularity recently. And I find it fucking hilarious. But, uh, I just sat in my couch just, like, speechless. I was just staring at the TV, pointing at it like a goddamn toddler. Like, big chungus? Like, that's no exaggeration. I literally reacted like that. Lola Bunny is slightly hotter than I thought she'd be in the movie. Like... Like, people were like, oh, Lola Bunny's not hot anymore. There's a couple ass shots. There's a couple parts where she got close up with bugs, you know, like, give him a little lick on the ear. He got a, he, he popped the boner and got back into the basketball game, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me talk about the references. There's a montage of, uh, of Bugs Bunny recruiting all of his friends, and they're all in different movies. Mad Max. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Austin Powers. Casablanca, which nobody watches anymore. And then The Matrix. Four of these movies, or three of these movies, aren't kids' films, or they aren't, they aren't, like, for kids. I'd say Casablanca is a very adult film. But a child could definitely watch it, but still, they wouldn't understand it. Like, Austin Powers is so damn close to being rated R, I might as well just rate it that, you know? But yeah, there's an Austin Powers reference. He's on screen like, yes, Austin Powers! And then it skips the movie and Mini-Me is like, it's uh, the Wabbit guy. I'm hunting Wabbits. I forgot his name. Uh, Elmer Fudd, he, he's like, he's Mini-Me. And, and that's, that's like, a nice touch. But, uh, he was so out of place in the scene. Wile E. Coyote was, uh, 
was just in Mad Max. He jumped out of the vehicle. I think this would be either one of the older films or Fury Road because they're in the cars. But it's just reference on reference on reference on reference right after the big chunk is part. Like three seconds later, it's... You know what? That's an exaggeration. That's, that's uh, like about three minutes later. But the references are just piling on each other. And I, I barely had room to breathe. Um, but uh, that's like the most exhausting part of the movie. Besides the basketball game. Oh, let me talk about that basketball game. It was like an hour long. It was half the movie. Was the basketball game. And uh, it was a lot like that. That part in Food Fight. Where it was just like half the movie was the food fight. You know, it reminded me of that. But, uh, we did get a lot, uh, a couple, uh, Lola Ash shots in there, so I'm happy. Yeah, I almost smacked the TV a couple times, you know. <laughs> <coughs> Anyways, uh, movie. I'm giving it a 3 out of 10. Really shitty. Um, I'm assuming it's nothing compared to the first one. I'm going to watch the first one after I upload this. But, uh, yeah. See you guys later. And, uh, and, uh, uh see you later, Doc. <laughs> that, that was, oh my God, I'm not keeping that in. I'm actually not going to keep that in, dude. That was really shitty. Holy shit. Fucking Christ. All right, hot Lola Bunny image in three, two, one. Let's suck some dick and make money.